hello friends now let us see how we can apply the load on this portion of this slab and so uh, let me go to the first floor and you can see that this is our washroom area and uh, and this is the entire staircase area so you can see that we got a wall over here so it will be uh, difficult for this slab to carry uh, this much of wall without any beam from here to here and also due to the staircase we need a beam from here up to here so what we will do is that we will separately apply the load of uh, this staircase and this slab so once we define the beam from here up to here so this will turn into a one-way slab and we will apply the load considering this as a one-way slab so first we will define a beam here and uh, let's do that uh, let me first uh, take the measurements so uh, i'll just use this option and uh, so take from the center line up to the outer edge you can take up to the center line of this beam as well so i'd rather take to the outer edge okay now let us define the beam uh, so the distance is five feet and uh, one inches so let us define the beam at a distance of five feet and one inches from this column so let's go to start pro and let's go to the front view and we'll go to the first floor plan and let us select the first floor and right click over here and click on new view and click on ok so after that so after that go to the plan and we need a beam here so uh, five feet and one inches uh, so input units uh, you can see over here it's kilonewton meter so let's convert to feet and so it's input units over here and the so unit is foot you can keep the unit as inches as well so let's do with the inches this time so five feet and one inches so five feet and one inch make how much inches so one feet has got 12 inches so five feet has got five feet into 12 plus 1 61 inches right so select this uh, node after that hold control and select this node so what do you do you do control C and control V all you need is 61 inches and click on OK so you got the nodes here now let us get back to our meter value and now let us draw a beam here so left click on it and let's draw the beam here and now what we will do we have to assign the property to the beam as well so go to general and go and click on property uh, if it is not selected so uh, this is our beam so select this beam first after that select the beam th uh, 3 5 by 2 3 and click on okay so select the beam right now so the selection got unselected so check the option assign to selected beams and click on assign after that click on yes so we got the beam here as well now we also have to assign other specifications uh, as i have uh, explained this in the previous uh, section that so this portion these two uh, positions you know these two ends of this beam they do transfer or transmit the shear force from this beam to uh, this beam but they will not transfer the moment so we need to uh, you know give moment zero at this position and also at this position so let's do that and click on beam option here so i'm on the specification tab so click on beam option and after that uh, the release tab and uh, so i need to release at the start and as well as the end and the release type is a complete release and uh, we need to release the moments and uh, let us release the moments in all directions and so check mz my and mx and click on add uh, now i also need at the end of this beam as well so click on beam again and uh, so click on end this time and check these three options and click on add now 
uh, select the beam which has already been selected so select this option in MX MY MZ assign to the selected beams and click on assign after that click on yes again select this option start MX MY and MZ check this option assign to the selected beam and click on assign and after that click on yes so we have released the moment 